Urinary tract infections are extremely common. Around one in two women and one in 20 men will get a UTI in their lifetime. Plus, once you've had one UT challenge, you're way more susceptible to another in the future. That's why you just need Just Thrive's UT123. This product can actually prevent UTIs while maintaining your urinary tract health. UT123 targets both immediate and long-term relief. We've all heard to drink cranberry juice for your urinary tract, but did you know that for the full effects, you need the whole cranberry? Not just juice, but the skin, flesh, and even the seeds. Well, UT123 uses superior ingredients that utilizes the whole fruit. This supplement truly is the full package. So if you're someone who struggles with the constant urge to urinate, a burning feeling when you pee, pelvic pain, or just want to be proactive in your urinary health, Just Thrive is for you. Just Thrive is so confident you'll love their product that there is a 100% money-back guarantee on every purchase made through JustThriveHealth.com. And for a limited time, you can save 20% off site-wide at JustThriveHealth.com with promo code SEXWITHEMILY. That's JustThriveHealth.com and use code SEXWITHEMILY for 20% off your order. You're going to love it. Listen, alcohol is just out in 2024. There is a rising trend of going alcohol-free or being sober curious, and alcohol, the truth is, it's just bad for you and can famously impair your sex life. So if you're looking for another way to unwind, relax, or just have fun, I cannot recommend Vaya's THC gummies enough. Vaya has gummies for every occasion. Whether it's to improve your sleep, I love their sleep gummies, I take them everywhere, your mood or your focus, they even have an aphrodisiac gummy called High Love to boost my arousal levels. High Love has a unique blend of cannabinoids and aphrodisiac exotic herbs that are known for their libido enhancing effects. So I've been using Vaya for a while now and I absolutely love them. They're a super trusted company, they use premium hemp, natural ingredients, and they're known for their premium indoor THCA flower. All their products are made here in the U.S. They got quick and discreet shipping to all 50 states so you can all enjoy them, not to worry, and also super affordable. So head over to viahemp.com and use code EMILY at checkout to save 15% off your order. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com. Use code EMILY at checkout for 15% off your order and let me know what you think. Are you sure it's safe to go spelunking down here, cordial? Sure thing, Halbert. I've been down here plenty of times. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Just people setting off dynamite. It's a cable! Oh no, the trap! Told you we're gonna die! Now just hold on a sec, Helmet. This here's the McCaffrey National Seaman Cave System. Yeah, you so. So, you dummy! That means we can lick our way out of here. It's only 30 or 40 feet of crystallized semen to the surface. Oh, yesterday, Cordial. I know we can lick our way out of here. I just can't stand the taste. Hell it, you dummy. Why do you think I packed a month's supply of masked sexual flavor strips? It tastes good. You can choose from four delicious flavors. Strawberry, chocolate, mango, and watermelon. Mask Sexual Flavor Strips are designed to deliciously disguise the taste of semen. In four exciting flavors, they're bound to get you out of the stickiest of situations. Go to sexualflavors.com today to find your flavor. Look into his eyes. They're the eyes of a man obsessed by sex. Eyes that mock our sacred institutions. Bedroom eyes, they call them in a bygone day. Hey, Emily. You got a boyfriend? Because uh, my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. A girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean, like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. Well, you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. You're listening to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex, relationships, and everything in between. For more information, go to sexwithemily.com. We can... Get all your sex questions answered. Check out our videos. Check out our blogs, all of our shows. We've got hundreds of shows you can download. And just goddamn it, get there to our site because it's exciting and it's fun. And you get discounts on special products and stuff like that. So it's good times. It's good to be back here in San Francisco after my um, after my trip to L.A. where I've been living for the last for five days. It's more than a trip. No, I moved there for three months, as people mm-hmm. know. I've heard from a lot of listeners. They're like, hey, how's LA? Da, da, da. But I was only there for five days, and I did not leave yet. I just had to go to Michigan, and then now I'm in San Francisco. Wait, so you moved to Los Angeles. You were there five days, and five then days. you left. And then I left, because I had to go to Michigan. 
How was Michigan? Michigan was amazing. It was my niece's 13th birthday Were you a star in Michigan? No, but um, <laughs> I people reckon, yeah, I mean, actually, no, I, I, don't, I don't think of myself like a star, but I have to say that a lot uh, of people watch television in Michigan. Yeah, I mean, I would assume it's a smaller town. It's a smaller and town, it's and my from. mom's on it, yeah, and yeah. my brother was on the show. And Miss, we're talking about Miss Advise, the Bravo television show that I was on. But my dental to hygienist today... Mm-hmm. Freaked out because I I went to a, I haven't been to my dentist. This is a new dentist that I went to, mm-hmm. and I walked in and she was like, and it was sort of inappropriate. She like went out into the lobby to call me in. And she was mm-hmm. like, oh, I know you. So the whole time she was doing my teeth, she was like freaking out about Your the teeth show. Look beautiful, by the way. They, can you tell? Yeah. I just got them clean today. Yeah, they look whiter. I needed it. <laughs> So she was very into the show and very excited to be cleaning my teeth. She's like, oh, you're so little. You're so cute. Da, da, da. I love I love Miss Advise. And do you have a boyfriend yet? And what's going on? So it's fun. Good times. How's that going, by the way? You what? brought it up. Boyfriend? Uh, boyfriend? Uh, I, yeah, it's... Yeah. it's <laughs> <laughs> what? It's challenging because I'm living now in Los Angeles except for this temporary stint in San Francisco oh, I thought to see you, you. I thought you cut that off. I thought no, you were No, we're done. together. We're, we're still... We, I, I don't like the word boyfriend. It's just so... It's, it just makes me well, tense. It, but... You you may have a boyfriend, but it yeah it does frighten you to say the word boyfriend. Yeah, I don't love it. Uh, you have issues. I mean, I picked up a move to LA, like that. No, that nobody can heal on no the planet. Fix. It's so true. I went to, um, but yeah, no, all is good. I mean, LA is just it's literally like it is. I'm not not to be cliche, but like it's warm at night. It really is. It's like it's warm in the day. It's warm in the morning. Mm-hmm. It's hot. It's freezing cold in San Francisco all the time. Yeah. I'm happy there. You're gonna come visit. I got yes. tickets to the Playboy Mansion done and done whenever you want it. I've secured two people I've now. Heard about this for no, years. no, no, menace. It's true. It's true. Like no, now it's done. Like I know it. I talked to my manager. It's done. We'll do it. Playboy yeah. Mansion. All right. And we'll do for like four shows. Okay. And we're gonna do the T Radio V podcast down there. I went to go see the new uh, the video the new, podcast, yeah, and I went to go facility? see their studios. It's huge, nice, really, really nice. I nice. hung out with uh, your buddy Elvis. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, he had nice he's, things to say about you. He's fun, right? He's so fun. Oh my god, he's the nicest guy. He keeps sending me things to do in L. A. Yeah. Like, he's very cute. He's cool. Yeah. So um, today's show, we're going to be talking about lots of stuff. We got sex in the news. We got your emails, and we've got special guests Ben and Jen Road. They're going to talk about. Ex- Explosive Sexual Healing. That's their program. And it's all about the female orgasm and why every man should be excited for his woman to have an orgasm. It's about the vagina, your favorite topic, Menace. They cook more after that, right? Once they have Exactly. They cook okay. more. They do more things like that. They're going to clean the house and make you dinner. At least so, it makes it worth it. <laughs> exactly. At least they can drive That's me to talk. That's why Menace will be saying, you orgasm? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to have some chicken parmesan. I mean, or if they at least drive me to talk about after, I'll be happy. Friggin' not one show can go by without you mentioning Taco Bell. I'm just saying. I'm I working gonna, on getting my Taco Bell tattoo. I was doing... No, you're not. Please don't. Please don't get a Taco Bell tattoo. You're not going to get one. Yeah. You're not going to get one. What's new with you? I haven't seen you in a year and a half, it feels like. Uh, I'm, you know, just doing morning radio uh, every day. I hear you every stuff. morning when I go to the gym. <laughs> you do, really? Every morning I listen yeah. to you. Uh, uh, yeah. L- live 105. Yeah. 105.3. Everyone go there and if you're in San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, it's it's uh, fun doing that. And then um, He's so cute with your Roku commercials and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. A lot of Roku. <laughs> Whatever yeah, the hell that is. I'm selling so much stuff right now. I know. Um, But, yeah, i just working like crazy and traveling. I'm going to go to Disneyland real quick. Oh, of course you are. I'm going to go to Vegas again. Uh, for New Year's, taking my 21 year old sister. I know, and that's her friends. adorable. And uh, I think I'm actually going back to Vegas that week. So a lot you of are? Vegas is coming up. Yeah. I'm going in February, I just found out. February? February, whatever, if you want to come to Vegas. Cool. Yeah. I'll be in Los Angeles in February because that's usually when the Grammys are. Right. You're coming so, down before then, though, because you promised me you'd come down every month. And I we'll will. Do four shows. I will be there. I Fine. need to go down there anyways for a meeting, so I'll be there. Okay, good. Like I'm so day. excited. I can't wait for that. Yeah. I can't wait for that moment to happen. Um, today's show, we just got to mention real quick, Audible. Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash Emily for your free audiobook download. In the first, um, before we get to the emails, I just want to thank them because they, you can get a free audio download. We love Audible. And like I, 
I am going to Mexico, which I didn't even friggin' mention yet that I've got a vacation in Mexico in a week from now. And in, in I'm going on Saturday for a week. And I'm downloading all these books from Audible that I can read and that I can, mm-hmm. without having to schlep down in my suitcase to, to Mexico. So I love Audible. Everyone visit audiblepodcast.com slash Emily for your free audiobook download. And also we have a new sponsor and you're going to love this. All right, what do you got? Screaming O. It's the official couple's ring of the Sex with Emily show. They make vibrating rings, but they not only make vibrating like cock rings, but they make like hundreds of them. You're a big advocate of I the I know, but I've never had a sponsor that just will send me. They're sending me like hundreds of them tomorrow, and you have to try one. What? Screaming I mean, O. Everyone okay. go to Screaming O. Go to my website, click on Screaming O, and you get over $40. You get over um, orders over $40, get free shipping. And they have a lot of stuff that you can buy. They don't just have rings, uh-huh. but they've got a, oh, they've got their new studio collection. Oh my god, I have to show this to you. It all it's makeup, mm-hmm. but it looks like makeup, but it's actually vibrator. So they have like a lip gloss, and they have like a, a blush and an eyeshadow, and it like really looks like a vibrator. You have in your pocket. Does and it charge on it, USB? No. I don't think you so. Need to get a USB it one. might. I, I haven't gotten them yet. I'm getting them tomorrow. I've seen them. I saw them at the trade show, but I haven't actually. They're arriving mm-hmm. tomorrow, so I'm okay. going to bring them to Mexico, where I'm going on Saturday for a week. Jesus. Are you excited? For yeah. Me? For somebody that a... just moved, you, you're doing way too much traveling. Well, can I just tell you how sad I am to be away from LA? Like, I already feel like it's my home. I was there for five days. And I, I, I'm i excited for Mexico. Don't get me wrong. I haven't had a vacation in eight years. In fact, I don't own a bathing suit. Like, I literally do not have a bathing suit. I'm just going to go naked. Your whole life is a vacation. What are you talking what are you, about? My whole life is a... People have the <laughs> wrong idea of me. I was like having a nervous breakdown 10 minutes ago. Are you kidding me? My whole life is a vacation. I guess I'm always having a nervous breakdown too, but maybe yeah. it seems like everything's everything. I don't good. really take your nervous breakdown seriously. Nobody does. I just say, oh, it's Nobody be okay. does, and that's a problem. It's going to be okay. Out. Fine, whatever, whatever. But, you know, no one cares. But so also last night I was the... Um, VIP guest at this event for Wine, Women, and Shoes, Mm -hmm. three of my favorite things. And I got to head up and make a speech. I had to get up and make a speech in front of like 300 women. And I was a little nervous talking about just because I know that I talk and I'm talking to like a million people right now, but I don't really realize it when you get on stage. So I just started talking about sex and like why it's important and it's empowerment and women. And and it was like kind of women like sipping their wine, like shopping for shoes. And I was talking about orgasms. It was very interesting. I wish was I was there. Night. I wish you were there too, Menace. But there were no dudes there. But um, you could have come if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, that's what we got. What else with you? What else? You're telling me nothing. You're working. Uh, you're going to Vegas again. Working, you're going to Disneyland. Big uh, deal. Yeah. You're always going to Disneyland. Just don't get arrested. Yeah, not this time. Okay, good. No, I think, uh, yeah. Don't do anything lewd I know. to my, Mickey Mouse. My life is kind of boring right now. I I usually have a fun story to share. I, I just don't, I really don't have anything. Okay. I, have, I, won't make you, I have a, a ton life. of fun stories to share. Okay. Go well, ahead. Well, now I feel pressure. Well, oh, check this out. Yeah. Uh, do you have it in your news? Do I have uh, it Do my you sex have it news? in your news uh, who was voted uh, sexiest man alive? No, tell me who. It was uh, Shannon Tatum. Shannon Tatum? Is that Shannon how you say Tatum? It? I have Shannon, seen the Shannon name. Tatum. I don't know who he is. All right, so some of the girls in the office that I work with, right? They said that this guy has a butter face. Really? The guy that was in Magic Mike said they said that he had a butter face. I'm like, what? And I go, who are you in love with? And they go, Ryan Goslin. I'm like, Ryan Goslin has a wormy face. Like, right, right, you know? totally not cute. Like, are you gonna put Shannon? What, what's it, the f is his name? Channing. Channing I've just Tatum. Seen it Sorry. In writing. I don't know any. Of Channing these people. Tatum. I don't know celebrity versus. Stuff. On on face value, you're gonna say that he has a butter face. Who voted him sexiest man alive? Whatever freaking magazine. I don't have the article. I don't have the news story. But that was yeah, that was the big talk in the office. And then the other talk was if the world was gonna end and you could only have sex with one celebrity, who would it be? Oh God, I hate these questions. I already know who your answer is. Who? I know who it is. You do, I don't even know who my answer is. What's my answer? answer Talk to me. Who's my answer? You're weird. You're going to say Bill Clinton. Just because I said that on Andy Cohn show does not mean that I'm going to say it now. But I would have <laughs> sex with Bill Clinton. Oh, my God. But he's not really a celebrity. He's like a thousand-year-old old man but like now. Bill Clinton in 1992. Okay. <laughs> can I Can I do that? Can I time travel with Bill Clinton? I 92. loved him. I used to have sex dreams about him. Is that wrong? Can you get arrested? Weird. Oh, no, you only get arrested if you even make threats to the president, okay, if you, yeah. you used to have dreams about sleeping with him. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you have anybody? You you watch no television. So. I like, um, 
I don't watch television, but all my mom and dad, stepdad do is watch television in Michigan. Like literally 24-7. I would love them. I would talk to it's, them it's, about my so step, much My stepdad's stuff. deaf, but he doesn't want to like admit that he's mm-hmm. deaf. So the TV is so loud and the whole house is vibrating and I have to walk off with earplugs. It's horrible. And they're watching Homeland. Yeah. Have you seen that? And they're watching like every, all they do is like, oh, oh time for Homeland. Time for this. Time for that. Sounds like, like fun. No, television. I hate the sound. I got a new TV. That's why oh, I'm did? so boring now. Why? What'd home. you get? What kind? Not like I know or. Really. My dream TV, I got a, a Samsung LED, super thin TV. It has oh, cool. a smart TV, it has all the stuff built into it. It's crazy. Isn't everything TV have every stuff built into it? Uh, Not right now. I mean, all the like newer ones do, yeah. Okay. It's what was cool. this shitty TV that you made me buy a few years ago? It's not a shitty TV. I'm kidding. It was a nice one. Was it Samsung? You got an LCD. Yeah. Did I? Okay. I never used it. I only used it when I was on television. <laughs> you used it, and then you watched porn on it when all the interns were over. So, all right. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. We watched our fire TV. That was a great That was a great thing. But, you know, speaking of porn, I have to mention something that is not porn. Sinclair Institute is one of our sponsors. And Sinclair Institute makes these amazing educational DVDs that are not, that is not porn, not porn, but... They're educational, and you will see naked people having sex, but they can mm-hmm. actually teach you something about having sex, like if you want to know more about how to perform oral sex, um, how to spice things up in your relationship, what to do about a low libido, blah, blah, blah. You don't know what to do about those things. You email me about them, and you can watch a video. So go to SinclairInstitute.com. Use coupon code EMILY50 for 50% off any item. I just want to say that. Well, you do have and a nice tutorial video where you go through their studios. That's up at sexdaily.com. That was fun. That's right? com. I go watch people having sex and then. Um, it looks was... like you walked off a talk show set because you have like this ridiculous, like fancy red dress on. Oh, right. And then My you're red at, dress. Like, this shoot where people are having sex. It was, it was very awkward. You did you was... like leave? I did. Like, they were so... like, we're going to bang again. I'm like, see ya later. Yeah, but the, the, you were like a little overdressed for a shoot where people were well, having sex. I was sex. in LA. It was the only thing I had to wear. No, I don't know. Yeah, they were naked and I was in my nice red dress, which I totally overwore. But speaking of red dress also, so Jeff Probst, I was on the Jeff Probst show, yeah. as you know, like four or five times. But last week, I, okay, so my mom tapes everything that I'm on, or DVRs it or whatever mm-hmm. the hell it's called these days. And so we sat down and we watched it. And I don't love watching myself on, on TV. So um, I watched the doctor's clip, which was funny. And mm-hmm. then I gave away Jimmy Jane candles to everyone in the audience, which was ama- which was fun. And I taught America how to make a dental dam. Yeah. Which was embarrassing because everyone in the audience looked at me horrified. They didn't know what a dental dam was, which is something that you use for if you're performing oral sex on a woman. And it's to protect you from STDs. And it's like latex. And I taught America how to make one using a latex glove. And it's pretty funny. A bootleg dental dam. Exactly. But then I was on Jeff Probst. He just interviewed me one-on-one. The other ones I've been on have been like on the couch segments. He has a segment called On the Couch. Have you seen any of them yet? Yeah, I remember I called you and I oh, said right, that right, I right. saw it on the website. You okay. never remember anything. No, 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 no. That was behind the scenes at Jeff Probst. That mm. wasn't on the show. So he interviewed me for like 20 minutes and I was wearing red and I liked it and I liked the dress. And it was really funny because my mom was watching it too. We watched it together and um, and he asked, he, you just find it entertaining. He asked me a lot about like, you know, my sex life and dating and like what, like I was talking about a lot of the things I talk about on the show about orgasms and that women don't need to take charge of their own orgasms and that they shouldn't rely on men and it was just, it was good he gave me like a good like a mm-hmm. bully pulpit to like talk about what i cared about and i yes. watched it and i i don't you know when you're getting filmed you don't remember but then i watched yeah. it and it was fun oh my god there's this new uh show on tlc i thought about you uh-oh what is it because <laughs> you're always talking about you know you gotta be you know you can be at whatever age and still having sex right, right. of course so they there have this be. show on tlc called super super uh cougars Super cougars. Super cougars? Yeah, they're like 85, 90 years old, and they're like sleeping with like 20-year-olds. Seriously? And they have this one lady that was like 50, like 56, and she was crawling out of her boyfriend's window because he still lived with his mom. Oh, God. Who are these effed up people? No, Seriously. That's so hilarious. dysfunctional and sad. And this one chick, this 80 Because he was plus... in high school and she could get arrested for sleeping with him or something? No, no. He was of age, but... He still lived with his mom, so she didn't. She would have to crawl in and out of the uh, out of the window. And then there was like this, like eighty year old plus lady where she like is all about yoga and stuff like that. So she was doing like all these crazy positions, and <laughs> it and was, it was funny. It was actually good. Or yeah. Just, okay. I mean, TLC is on fire right now. They is got, it? Like, some What's the other one? Good one on TLC. Program. I don't even know. Like I, Honey I Boo Boo and all that. Oh, stuff. that's where Honey Boo Boo is. I still haven't seen yeah. that. 
I'm just gonna come over and watch on your new fancy TV. TLC is like the um, if you'll have the me. network of freaks, and I love it. It's great. Is it? But it wasn't yeah. before. It was like the Learning Channel. Now it's like the Honey Boo Boo Channel. Yeah, it's amazing because they know that's where you make money. Because hello, people. I'm sorry. No matter how cool you think you are, that's this is what America likes to watch. Okay, I'm sorry that um, it's not a show about like NPR or anything like that. You know? Yeah. The welcome to America. Uh, mainstream America. I know. Seriously, everyone loves it. But um, okay, let's get into some emails. We're skipping sex in the news. Okay. I just feel like fine. It. Unless you have any other news, I'm trying to think of what happened in the. Um... Oh, uh, um, you know me. I always talk about pop culture, but um, it, apparently Robert Patterson and that other chick are back together. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got back together a while ago. I think. What the f is wrong with my you, mom? Man? Knows all this stuff. My mom yeah. like amazes me with everything she knows. Like, oh no! Oh like, my god. Your mom and I should do a side uh, podcast I know. together about pop seriously, culture. Seriously, seriously, totally, you should. My mom's like, oh, yeah, they got married, they got divorced, they had a baby. I'm like, how the yeah. hell do you know? Like, how do you have time? Like, because you can't get away from it. Open a newspaper, open the freaking internet, or turn on the TV. You are you can't get away from it. That's my problem, is that I don't digest other media. I don't know where the F... I've been in my like, brain, I'm in my looking? head all day. Yeah, I'm like, in my head, are... like, writing, like, today, really okay. What? So today I had to write a story for Cosmo Magazine, mm-hmm. and it was, I was... So I was turning in. Well, I did turn it in finally on time, but it was taking me a very long time. And it was about the proliferation of porn in, in America. And if I think that porn has had an impact on why how people have sex today and what I think about porn. And then it was at, the bottom line was what happened to romantic sex and how do you bring romance in, back into your relationship? And so I just wrote about how, yes, I do think that it's sad when people learn from porn. You shouldn't learn from porn. You should learn something from like the Sinclair Institute DVDs, but not porn because porn is technically is shot in a way to that's titillating and that you find that men and women, you know, find attractive to look at, but it's not necessarily where you should be learning the lessons of how to have sex. It's not like, oh, like, like they did that in porn, so I should do that myself. I don't think it's a great learning tool. I think it's uh, – and I have nothing against porn for that, but for learning, like it's a lot of kids, it's how they – their first entree, they're like indoctrinated into sex through porn, and I think that's a problem. And then it was like, what 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 is romantic sex? And like why is it important? You never see romantic sex. You always talk about the crazy weird sex, but why aren't people talking about romantic sex? And so, like, when I say romantic sex, like, what do you think about? Romantic sex? Yeah, if I say, like, romantic sex, like, does it make you want to go, ugh? Uh, yeah. It seems like a lot of work. That's what I said. I was like, the reason why people, you don't hear about it as much is you don't see it as much or you don't, people don't talk about it as much because it takes more work. It's like mind, body, connection. Like, you have to, like, work at romantic sex. But romantic sex is so important if you're not connected to your partner on that, like, spiritual, intimate level you know, and there are things you can do, but don't talk, don't say to your partner, though, because it's a women's magazine. So don't say, let's have a talk about romantic sex because he'll leave. But just say, mm-hmm. like, you know, I love our sex life. Everything's great. Or, you know, I'm really enjoying our sex life, but here's something I think we could do to take it to the next level. And then I talked about, she didn't want me. She's like, don't talk about candles and lighting candles, all that stuff. So uh, I just said about talking, communication, just lubrication, whatever. So that's what I was working on talking? today. Communication. Talk about what you like. What's your fantasies? What turned you on? What's what's your thing? What's your deal? I mean, I don't understand why couples don't talk to each other at all. It makes no sense, no sense to me. Okay, I'm going to move into emails. What do you got? How do you feel about that? Okay, you can always email me at feedback at sexwithemily.com. I try to answer all your emails, although there have been hundreds of them lately, <laughs> like every day. And I love hearing from you, and I do read all of them. And we also answer some on our website as well as during our show. This is the Sex with Emily show. You can download hundreds of podcasts on iTunes or through my website or through the Stitcher app. Stitcher is an amazing free app for your smartphone, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R, and you can just on demand listen to any goddamn podcast you want, but hopefully you'll pick ours. Yeah, just type in sex and it pops up right away. Pops up right away because we're the number one podcast. Hello. Okay, so that's uh, how you can find us. Okay. Emails. Hi, Emily. I care a lot about my girlfriend and want to please her as much as possible by going down on her, and I've been reading and studying a lot about techniques to do it very well. But should I just go down on her spontaneously as a surprise or should I ask first? She's nice and reasonable, but she doesn't talk a lot about sex from being she's either shy or she wasn't raised to enjoy it. So I'm afraid if I do it out of nowhere while I'm bad, she will find me repulsive. Any solutions? Wise Emily? Thanks, Jason. So I get the sense that Jason hasn't had a lot of experience, perhaps, performing oral sex either. Because if he's worried that the woman's going to freak out and think it's weird and creepy, I think he's probably... Perhaps a little younger, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. We've been hearing from a lot of virgins and younger-ish people lately. It changes all the time. But I would say that um, I would just start to – I wouldn't just go right down there. 
But what I would say is you should start to do foreplay. I would start, I would start to kiss her. I would start to turn her on. I would, I would kiss her. I'd caress her body. I would make your way down there slowly, kissing her, kissing her stomach, her thighs, her breasts, mm -hmm. and then just make your way down there and start, like, don't go, don't go right for the clitoris. Never do that. Never go right in for it. Women are not turned on yet. They're not turned. She doesn't even know what's happening yet, but do a lot of foreplay. And then they go down there and try it. I think that you're projecting that she's going to be freaked out. Maybe she's never experienced it before, but I can tell you that she'll probably like it. She, I don't know. I mean, some women don't like oral sex, but I'm sure she'll probably enjoy herself. And I would say that um, you could ask her first. You wonder if you could ask. I always think it's a little like, oh, do you mind if I like perform oral sex on you? But you could just start kissing her and say, how does this feel? Like I would start kissing her on the lips, then start kissing her neck, her breast, and say like, how does this feel? Like I think you need to talk during sex. Those those kinds of questions. Does this feel good? Do you want more pressure? Should I go softer? Should I go harder? And then kiss her. How does this feel? Do you like this? Does this feel good? Once you get down to her vagina and you start licking her. I uh, totally agree with that statement. Oh my God, I'm that's so think, weird. I'm trying to think uh, what so other counter statement I can me. come up with, but I agree. Okay. Just go slow. Slow. That yeah. was another one I did. You have to always go slow. People go way, way too fast. Start off really, really slow. Um, and that is another thing that I think romantic sex is about, going back to that. I said go slow. Go five times slower than you think you should because everyone goes way too I fast. I can't help but laugh when trying to uh, – Perform oral sex on a woman? No, just being sexy. Well, that too. But like the whole being sexy. I just, I don't know. I just, because I'm an 80s kid. So it just, being sexy just automatically in my head just goes to automatic cheese, like cheesy stuff. Like right. the old school cheesy lace, um, you know, bras and panties right. and stuff like that. And right. just like bad 80s music and. Everything like velvet. I don't know. It's you just, just think about that. When yeah, you think yeah. About and then so when that when I hear romantic and sexy, all the images in my head go well, automatically. Those are so to that. old. Those images are like thirty years old. Yeah. So stop thinking of those images. Well, it's kind of hard. Okay. Not to. Well, it can be really romantic. It's it's important because that's how couples connect, like like spiritually, intellectually. Like you need to, mm -hmm. if you're not connect, if you're just having sex and you're going through your routine, you're like going through like arousal and then orgasm and that's the only thing you're dealing with and you're not like being romantic and connected, then it's, it's a problem for your relationship because you're not Like romantic dinners and stuff like that? That stuff is boring, don't you think? <laughs> for real. No, it's but just you, like, every once in a while, you just no, do it because you stuff. think that's what you're supposed to do, but it's so effing boring. Why you'd rather be sitting eating Taco Bell in front of the television I'd rather set, be watching like, Honey Boo Boo? I understand. The, I'd rather be next to the girl, like yeah, having fun, maybe eating at home and stuff like that. I think that's more fun than being at well, you're you going to find Benny or something like that. You know? Oh, I don't really want to buy it. It's classy. classy that's a classy spot joint. Like Benny. We should talk about tonight. I'm taking your dinner tonight. You are taking are you me to dinner tonight. Excited for your birthday. I'm very excited. I'm going to um, Flower and Water. That's where you're taking me, right? I know. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. I don't even know what they serve there. Flour and water. Oh no, they deserve. Uh, it's it's Italian. It's an amazing restaurant in San Francisco. Everyone should. It go better there. be good. No, I'm seriously. You're gonna. Or I'm freak walking out. out. You're gonna freak out. You're gonna love it. Okay, next email. Hi Emily, I'm 21 years old, and I had my first boyfriend two years ago when I was 19. He got into a relationship with me after his girlfriend dumped him. He worked so hard to get my attention and waited about two months for me to finally go on a date with him. We instantly became comfortable with each other, but his ex seemed to still be around, talking to him, texting him. I don't mind because I thought that's his past and I'm the future. Two months into it, he texted me one day, randomly saying he needed time for himself and that he wasn't breaking up with me, but he was. The twist is, he is my neighbor. Mm -hmm. He lives about two feet away from me. It was so hard seeing him bring her around, etc. The year 2012, he and his girlfriend broke up again in April and he came back to me wanting to be friends. He apologized and was just telling me how he was just the best person in his life. The biggest mistake he made was breaking up with me. I then find out that they got back together. <laughs> we don't talk now, but he says he wants us to talk and be friends. I'm just wondering, what's your take on this? I'm trying my best not to make any contact and cut him off for good. I just wonder if he'll ever really, if he ever really liked me, wanted to be friends, or he really just wants nothing to do with me. It's been on my mind for a long time. Please help. Sincerely, does time heal all? Okay. Oh, my God. So many things I want to bring up. Okay. Let me just say this. I do believe, time heals all, that he did want to be friends with you. He did like you. You're young. You're not. You're 21 years old. 
He's a guy. He's bra- what? He wanted to be friends with you. He wanted to sleep with you. Yeah, again. Yeah, I mean, I think like, he wanted to sleep with you again, but I think no I believe. He no one to sleep with anymore. <laughs> he broke up with the girl. He wanted to get back to you because I truly believe that he liked you, and he also liked this other woman. And I think the kids yeah, yeah, are yeah. jumping into monogamy at He'd your like age, and they want to sleep with. They want to. He wanted to sleep with you. He wanted to sleep with her. He wanted to sleep with the other, the neighbor on the other side. I mean, yeah. he wants to sleep with everybody. <laughs> so I'm just saying that. Um, but you just have to, I would cut him off for good. I mean, mm-hmm. I know it's hard because he's your neighbor and I'm telling you when you get a boyfriend in a, in a month from now or a year from now, whenever you do, you're not going to care anymore. You're really not. You're going to see him like, hey, mm-hmm. that's that dude who was an asshole. But this will pass. Time does heal all wounds. I'm telling you, um, that is such a truism to live by that every relationship, when you're in the depths of pain, of breakup, and you think you can't live and you can't go on. I am here to tell you that you always go on and they always meet someone else and you will learn from this experience. And so my take on it is, is, is that, I, yeah, I do believe that he really did want to be with you and he wanted to be with her and he had to choose and he chose her once and he chose you again. So I would just like let this guy go. Don't give him the time of day if you can. Just, you know, keep walking. When you're walking in your car, don't stop and talk to him and cut him out of your life because it's hard. That's the thing. When, you want to, when you're dating someone and you want to cut them off, it's it's you can cut them off. You can delete their number. You can block them from your phone. You can defriend them on Facebook. But when they're your neighbor, you have to like see them. That's like annoying. Mm-hmm. Like I would tell you to move, but usually it's not that easy. But so you got yeah. to work really hard not bringing him back into your life. And I and I believe he probably does want to say hi and be friends. Da, 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 but mm-hmm. just don't don't do it. It's what do you it's so say? funny because when I was eating oh eating <laughs> when I was <laughs> I wish I was eating right now. I'm sorry. Soon I'm starving too. Um, when you're reading this email and I was hearing it, the answer is so simple to us, right? Right. Like, we know exactly what's going on. Everyone that's in the room right now, like, just lit up and they're like, of course, this guy just wants to sleep with her. Right. But she likes this guy and she's not in a clear mind. Right. You know? And it brought up this television show that's on TV. No, no. You're going to freaking love this TV okay. show. It's effing amazing. What? It's called uh, well. There was a there was a movie about it, Catfish, right? And it was all about how uh, this guy fell in love with a girl online and all that stuff. But this this they made it into a TV show where they follow people. Say, hey, uh, are you in an online relationship? Do you want to actually meet that person? And we'll we'll take you to it, right? Okay. In the first episode. They go meet up with this girl, and she's like, yeah, I've been online dating this guy for eight months. And he's they never met? Never met. Ugh, people she's totally, don't meet the person. She's so dumb. like totally head over heels. Even her sister was the one that friended this guy first on Facebook, and they fight about this guy, right? So they're, they're like doing some investigation, so tell us more about this guy. Oh, he's a, he's a model. He travels a lot. Uh, he was working for Chelsea lately. Oh, what evs. Okay. And doing, doing cue cards or, you know, whatever. Oh, he had three sisters that tragically died in a car accident. <laughs> All this crazy stuff, right? So the guys that are producing the TV show, they start doing some research and looking into the guy. And the guy, had all his sisters are still alive. They call the Chelsea Lately show and say, hey, um, there's a, you know, it was there a guy by this name doing cue cards for you? No, there wasn't any guy doing this, oh, right? Oh, God. So they're supposed to go meet up with this guy, with the girl, and they they go and meet with the girl first and say, hey, we did some research. These are all the things that we found, right? They don't know anybody at the Chelsea Lately show <laughs> that in. did cue cards Shock. and then this girl i mean because she's not in right mind she's in love right just like this girl on the email saying oh yeah well you know there's probably a lot of people that work on the chelsea lately show probably d- they didn't know him and they go oh yeah well we found um we found this thing where all his sisters are still alive well you know the sister's thing's probably uh pretty recent and doesn't want to talk so she was like making excuses of course, of course, for all this right. stuff because she's like i feel for this guy it's been so they eight- they eight take, weeks of amazing texting, eight yeah. months or whatever. Yeah. No, she even talked to this guy on the phone. They call, they call the guy on the phone, and he sounds like a 13-year-old kid, right? It's like, how do you not hear right. or see all this information? So finally, they fly this chick out to go meet this person. They found the address. They knock on the door, and it's an 18-year-old chick. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> Who just made up this whole thing. And all the photos in the guy's life was so Like a friend of hers from high was, school. She played soccer with 
one of the sis of the three sisters, and then she took on the persona of this guy, and has been like talking on the phone with this chick for like and texting and for not eight knowing months. that the chick was a dude. I mean, the dude was a chick. Yeah, can't tell by the voice. She couldn't tell by the voice. Well, when I when you first hear the voice on the TV show, it just sounds like a young boy, but it's right. actually. It's actually people are so 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 misinformed. If you, I've got to ask like, this question. It just shows you don't see any of the signs when you're in love. You I just know don't... love is blind. That's yeah. why they say love is blind because you are truly blinded by like yeah. all the red flags. You don't see them. Like you just don't see them. But the, here's the thing: I got asked this recently by like a journalist or something. They were saying like, when should you meet someone when you're dating online? And I'm like, don't send more than like three emails back and forth. Like meet the person. Right mm-hmm. away, within yeah. the first week. Otherwise, you got eight months go by. You're talking to some eighteen year old in another country. <laughs> like, who care? Like, why eighteen year old girl? Like, you yeah. just don't want to waste your time doing that. Yeah, no, I I've definitely met people through like every single medium. Right. And, uh, yeah, it, and it you never build went up further. Them, you build them up in your mind. There's some yeah. amazing thing. Blah blah blah. It never went further than three three messages. It's just like, oh, you happen to be here at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Don't like let that. it go beyond three messages, people. If you want to know. But uh, you really, you really should just not wait too long. Yeah. Okay. Colton, I don't know if we should be exploring old man Sinclair's property like this. Well, shut up now, help it. Old man Sinclair's deaf as a coot. He won't hear us. And besides, this is what friends do: go on adventures and find out the secrets of better sex together. What was that? What was that last part? Be careful. This is old man Sinclair's landmine field. Help her, you dummy. Now old man Sinclair will hear us for sure. Who, who's the hand there? Go remove. Cut your head off. Over here. Help. What? Oh, is that Helper and Corgan out there? Yeah. No. I should have known you diggling would find yourselves out here. Here, let me help you out of that trap. Uh, 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 hey, now I've got your gun, Mr. Sinclair. Give me that, you dummy. The table of turn, Sinclair. Now take us to your locker full of sex tips and secrets. Easy now. I don't want any trouble. I'm just a simple man trying to make my sex tapes. Don't give us any sex. We just want to know where your award-winning sex exploration series is. You can buy it on Sinclair Institute on the dot com, like every other sucker. That's Sinclair Institute dot com. S I N C L A I R Institute D O T C U M. Told you, I just found the tapes. They was hiding here in this giant box that says tapes. We're gonna be sex masters. Help me, you dummy. Watch out, you're gonna fall on that gun aimed at old man Sinclair's hand. Guess we should have gone to SinclairInstitute.com, like you said. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, Colgin, how do you spell that website again? Help it, you dummy. S-I-N-C-L-A-I-R. Like we say where I'm from, it shouldn't be murder to have better sex. Let the good folks of Sinclair Institute take you on your next sexual adventure. So y'all come back to SinclairInstitute.com and use coupon code EMILY50 for 50% off any one item. My favorite's the DVD about G-Spot pleasures and my missus likes the Benoit balls. Thanks for listening and thanks for supporting Sex with Emily. Do you want to talk to your guest right now? Yeah, let's bring him in. Let's, let's come on, guests. Him up. We're, we're, what should we do with the um, the mic switch? Uh, do you want me to come over no, to, with no, no. you? No, they can they can just come over here. I'll just stand over here. Come stand yeah, with me. Yeah, sure, show you. You know, hi you guests. Have some questions. Let's uh, introduce our guests. You guys, if you we've got stand, Ben sure and Jen Road, and I Thank met you. them at the Good Vibration Sex Summit, and they have they have they have a course ex- at a website, Explosive Sexual Healing dot com, and you can check it out. Hi guys! Hi, so Hi, good Emily. to see you. Thanks for being here with us. Come yeah, here, Menace. Awesome, thank yeah. you. You're gonna thank love you for this stuff. Us. Menace needs to take one of your courses with his woman. <laughs> Dig it, do it. Seriously, Every man I, needs to. it is too much Every work. Every man she will needs buy you to. Taco Bell, though. 
She what? She will buy you Taco Bell. She will Bell. buy you Taco Bell? Menace. Good. She'll buy you Taco Bell. That's okay. That's a chick you need to marry. Okay, so talk to me. Seriously. So you guys are to, you guys are married. We're married. Married yeah. couple. And you do this sexual healing out of your home. That's right. Which is awesome. Yeah. Tell me, okay, what the hell is explosive sexual healing? Okay, so. Break it down, break it down. This is something I've been working on for about two years. And I was trying to figure out what it was that I was doing that was working so well with, with uh, lovers and and um, and so I started reverse engineering it and figured out that I was combining G-spot orgasm with hypnotherapy, and that, wow. that orgasm creates a profound state of trance that everything gets in and just it's a complete transformation. And so then when I met Jen, um, I met her six months ago, married her five months ago. Oh my God, you guys got married that quickly? That's a whole <laughs> nother show. Oh God, it really is. <laughs> And so wow! We, we both quit our no wonder you guys are all over each other, and like they're like, I walked in, they're sitting on each other's lap. I'm like, oh my god, they're so cute, I know, it's and only they're married. Months, right? No, I'm kidding. I that, I believe in true love. It may last forever, right? Thank you. It may last forever. Okay, wait. So okay, back up. So you okay. met her, and then you go ahead, keep talking. Um. So then we. So then she does energy work. So she does the. Uh, Body do Reiki and Reiki. clairvoyant. Yeah, talk to people's guides, okay. see angels, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, wow. so I do the body work and the hypnosis, and she does the uh, the energy work, and she like pulls cords and like tells them things about themselves that that you know they haven't thought about since they were seven years old. And wow, I mean, she'll you know I'll be stuck with something, and she'll say one sentence that gets the you know that's amazing. Makes the client break down. In you guys tears are like a superhero like, oh, couple. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, that's, that's how we knew that we needed to quit our jobs and get married. And I was a mailman; she was a preschool teacher. And really, you were a mailman. Yeah. yeah. You were a mailman for ten years, and then you Brooklyn, started California. In where? I know I was a mailman, a mailman for two and a half years. She was a, a preschool teacher for, for ten years. Oh my god! Years. Yeah. And you both. So wait. So you're. But then you're. But you were having these with women that you were with. Are you okay mm-hmm. talking about this? No, no, it's totally cool. Six months before you, he was with other women. It's okay. <laughs> Six months ago, he, before you, you lived, you existed in his Some world. Some of them we've worked on and are now my close friends. So oh, I love it. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to Mexico with like two of my ex-boyfriends next week. Yeah. We're, like, we're, we're all doing, friends. Uh, we're doing our third session with my last girlfriend tomorrow. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, this is amazing. So tell me. Okay, so what, then your background is, is is how did you, sorry, you said that you, you were a mailman, but then what you were doing, hypnotherapy? How do you yeah, know? So I've, I've been studying sex. I read my first book on sex when I was 17. Okay. Um, I, I read The Complete Idiot's Guide to Sex. Right. And, and sex for Dummies when I was 17. And uh, I, it was just, it was my, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't stop reading about sex. I just wanted more. I wanted right. to learn more. Love it. You know, like, I mean, the, the clit wasn't enough, you know, like I wanted to, um, I wanted more than Taco Bell. <laughs> you know? That's good. Menace doesn't aspire to much more than that, so Menace, that's good to yeah. hear. Um, yeah, and I just I I found the G spot, and I didn't know what it was, and um, I just kept going with it and researching it, and and even more than researching it, just researching it like in my own experience, and right. Figuring out why won't she have a G spot orgasm, right? And then I make it happen. I I so so what I do is I work. What with do you the do? Head. I work with the head more than I work with the body, so. Like, there are statistics out there that say that only a certain percentage of women can achieve G-spot right. orgasm. Um, but that's just, like, all the all the uh, the programs out there are for helping them achieve G-spot orgasm when they're ready for it. Right. So it's like working with the body, but but we work with the mind and the, the body rest. Body and the spirit, yeah. And the spirit and all that. Okay. And, and so, so you were always obsessed then with G-spot. With yeah, everything about it was, sex, it was just my, it was my, uh, it was my, my calling. You know, there's something that called. That's me amazing. Spot, you know? That is really amazing. So then, okay, so then you guys met and you mm-hmm. had sex, and then he did the G spot thing on you. <laughs> she... <laughs> I'll, I'll let you take that one. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> so we met, hung out gonna, a couple we're, times, we're moved put this in. On the frequently asked questions got, too. Yeah. We, we just had to add our Ben and Jen swingers to the frequently yeah. asked questions. Yeah, are you? No, we're not. No, we're okay. not. But everybody <laughs> thinks we are. No, we're actually in a in a secure, committed monogamous marriage okay, I good. know crazy we're kind of boring um we both had our fun beforehand you know? right exactly so, um yeah so I had never experienced a g-spot orgasm um before we had met and it's been really interesting working with other women with this too because most women what what we're realizing more and more and more is that most women even when they think they've experienced a g-spot orgasm 
They haven't. Really haven't. Right, I mean, right. what we do is it, it'll be half an hour long orgasms. Um, and they call the G spot the goddess spot for a reason. Right. Um, because it really is direct connection with source. So if you think about the sacred goddess ceremonies and the matriarchal cultures, like right. that's what they were doing. Like, Absolutely. They were directly connecting women with source. So it's so really what do you empowering. do? So you have a woman coming into your living room and are you actually is she penetrating her or are you so I'll let you using sex that. toy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I just I just want to say to your last question, we didn't actually kiss until the night before she moved in. Oh, um, yeah, she moved in one month to the day after yeah, we, we met. Were, we were very and we romantic. We got married. Two oh, days later. you were romantic. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, so yeah, so the client comes in. Uh, we do an intake and okay. figure out exactly where they're at now and where they need to be. So, let's say let's say the client says, "Okay, um, I have childhood issues that are keeping me from calling some of my boyfriend." <laughs> oh God! Turn it on me, yeah. Uh, we say, okay. So, what do you want instead? You know, she said, I want a boyfriend. I want intimacy. I want to be with the man of my dreams and let him love me and let him, you know, do his thing and and treat me like a woman and and whatever it is, you know. And we say, okay. So let's come up with some affirmations. So we come up with some uh, affirmations, which are posted not at suggestions, um, and whatever those. So uh, so whatever those are. We, we write down three or four of them, and we say those to the clients while they're in orgasm. So so we start off with the... Um, and often they're screaming them with us. We're all screaming right. together. Yeah. yeah, they're screaming, I love myself, I right. love myself. Good, and, that's and, good. And, Affirmations and like, are very powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, so, um, so uh, I taught a little workshop in my sexological bodywork... Certi- when, I, when I was doing my uh, sexological bodywork certification, I taught a two-hour workshop... Um, and so we had five women on tables and five people giving them G-spot orgasms and yelling post-it not suggestions at them, the, their affirmations. Okay. And the unanimous feedback at the end was I, these, these affirmations were getting in. Wow. And, and I have never let anyone, like, compliment me like that. Like, usually I deflect or I – Right. You know, but they all get in and they stick. It's, it's total – it's a total hypnotic trance. That's and amazing. So it's just at the point of the, the whole time building up to orgasm, they're, they're chanting or they're saying their affirmation. No, and then... so, so leading up to orgasm, it's all, you know, Jen's asking them about stuff from their childhood. Or, well, how are they know, like, okay, so you guys touching them or they have a vibrator? Yeah, or do so they have they're naked. Partner? They're naked on the table. Um, it's sexological body work, uh, right. code of ethics. So practitioners fully clothed, touches one way, um, and we have our vinyl gloves. So right. we do full body massage. And then um, eventually go to the the yoni massage, and and then eventually work to the G spot. Okay, so you are able to provide these G spot orgasms, or the women are able to achieve them under your tutelage. Right. And Every then, woman that comes in, uh, er, if they continue, eventually, so right. if they if they want to continue, then then yes. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So the women, the women that um, are initially unable to, we work with them in different ways. We do some hypnosis, or we do some reiki, or you know, there's there's so many things that that keep um, that will keep a woman from achieving G spot orgasm. So, like what? Like talk to me some of the roadblocks. Okay, mm-hmm. so what we like what we've really found out is that that our whole thing is based on full release, which is a step or two beyond orgasm. Okay, like full release, where everything in your way of success and of happiness disappears. So, I mean, do you want to talk about that? Um, or pleasure centers, or Gosh, it's it's basically. I know it's hard to explain. It, I know, like what you because it's so. It's challenging to right. put into words. Like right. really, sex is in the mind. Like really, everything in life is yeah. in the mind. And so our bodies can are all physically capable of a right. G spot orgasm. Like every woman's body. And so it really is just getting them over the mental blocks. And every woman has different mental blocks. We do tend to work with a lot of really, really powerful women who, who are all in their head. Who tend, right. tend to be in their head. A lot of businesswomen, a lot of entrepreneurs, things like that. And, um, you know, often they have egos that tend to be control freaks. Like, I have that too. Right. I get it. So that's a really common one. It's not necessarily that, but it is this huge. Like when you're in a half an hour orgasm, you are not in control. You right. cannot be in control. And so like that that's one of the biggest roadblocks, I would say. But there, there yeah. are multiple. Yeah, ones. so the blocks can be anything from being seen to receiving, mm-hmm. receiving pleasure, 
uh, receiving abundance. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just getting out of your, but really just getting out of getting your head. Out of your head. That's what I tell yeah. women all the time. Yeah. Like you just yes. have to like, like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, you just have to focus on your body, focus on your breath. Exactly. Right. Like there's so many things that people right. like just don't like, they just can't do it. They it, don't get it. it. Often, they don't. It, it I mean, I can't, so as I can't, I'm like the perfect, Right. Yeah, it is like meditation. It totally is. Like yeah. I, I find myself, you know, that was like ninety part. Like I was reading something about like sixty percent of women. The top thing they said was they think about their to do list during sex. Right. You know, like gotta pick mm-hmm. up the laundry. You know, like right. what? Like really? Is that what you're thinking about? But it's true. That's where our minds go. It's like. Mm-hmm. It's like it takes a village to like stop like literally like you guys are like a village helping women have exactly. orgasms because they're exactly. so like thinking about yeah. all the stuff yeah. they I have mean, to it's, do. Full time job keeping them, you know, in their body and. Actually, so the women that are always in their body, we get them in their head. The women that are always in their head, we get, we them, get them in their, in their body. body. You know, the, the women that, that leave leave the universe during an orgasm, we pull them back. The women that stay here, when they're in an orgasm, we make them leave the universe. You know, we just give them what they right. haven't had before. And so how do you have it? So what's the full release then? It's when she... So, so full release is when she's in that G-spot orgasm for several minutes, and she is just gone out of her mind and she's screaming and like she's, she's never experienced before exactly and she's ejaculating all over the place and she's just she it's it's a place where she stops resisting and stops stops fighting her body and 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 starts receiving the pleasure and receiving the full release and receiving ah uh, so and, and from an energetic perspective it's you'll you'll actually see i mean when any woman's in orgasm you'll see the body tense initially to release right. but in the full release you'll actually see them sort of relax into it and as they relax into it you'll see them experience this full body orgasm so the orgasm isn't just concentrated in the sacral I mean, it, it right. can just extend and go and go and go. And then what's your role? You're saying, so you're doing the actual sex, sex, sexological body work, wearing the gloves and doing mm-hmm. the, performing the orgasm. Right. And so what is your role, Jen? What are you talking mm-hmm. through the process? Talking through the process, um, comforting. Often women need comforting. A lot of emotional stuff will tend to come up, especially in the first few sessions. Once we blow up the emotional stuff, then it's just pleasure, and then it's just enjoying that, which is also wonderful. So then I would be circulating sexual energy in the body. Um, but initially, it's usually a lot of comforting, and then it's also a perfect opportunity if they need a cord pulled from, like, an old relationship. Or right. They're still, like, like, hung up on someone. Right. It's the easiest way to get in there and just get it out. And can you only do this through the G-spot orgasm? Like, you have to have the G-spot. Like, what is it about the G-spot, the goddess spot? Like, it's just the way... It's, it is I mean, in your body. I mean, we're still really learning, but the god it, it's called the goddess spot for a reason. So, like, I've been doing Reiki for six years now, and the lower chakras are the hardest chakras to, like, cleanse in anyone, in it's myself so and others. Like, they're, right. just, they're slower, and there's just more, they're more stagnant. And um, so, yeah, I mean, the it's just an amazing tool. It's just, it works. It's not, I'm sure it's not the only tool, but it really works. What about clitoral orgasms? When you're with the women, because everyone says seconds. that you need to have a clitor- ten seconds to have one. No, we. I mean, the clitoral orgasm is a ten, twenty second orgasm. So what, right, you know, there's you can't throw in. Too but many. are you doing that when you're? Explain so, first of all what sexological body work is for mm-hmm. some people who might not know. Sexological body work is somatic sex education, or we call it somatic sex re-education. So like in you know in school, you know high school, you know I got like I think two days of sex education right, in if one that, classroom, right. and it was all about. <laughs> Why we shouldn't have sex because we're going to have these horrible STDs that are going to make my penis right, hurt. Exactly. And they're gonna, I'm going to get some chick pregnant and like ruin my life. So, <laughs> you know, we're teaching people how to receive pleasure. And so they come to us and they're like, hey, I'm a, I'm a businesswoman. I don't have time to research this stuff. You know, that's, that's our job, you know, is to research it and to know what they need. You know, if I need my taxes done or something, I'll go to them if they need a 30-minute G-spot orgasm didn't come to right, me. Right, right. That's amazing. That's amazing. So women, and they come back. Do you guys have repeat clients that keep coming back? Or yeah, do, is have, it more like do they programs. do it once, they release? So you do programs. You teach workshops? Um, I mean, no, we have a 30-day and a 60-day and a 90-day program okay. that we that we work with people on. Uh, we haven't gotten into teaching workshops yet. Um, I'm still writing them. Um, we have some amazing ideas. We, we're actually thinking about moving to Colorado. Yeah, you uh, should. There's lots of people there who want orgasms. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. You oh, know. So, so yeah. So the clit is an amazing tool. Back to your question. And I, we will. I do. Of course. I, you know, I do yoni massage. So I'll work with the clit for a little while and get her turned on. And if she's if she's used to coming with a clitoral orgasm, I'll have her just ride that edge, ride the edge of orgasm without letting her go over for anywhere from thirty minutes to however long. And then you know while Does I'm. Your hand get tired. My arm gets tired. Yeah. So I, I right? can usually only go for five minutes at a time, and then I take a little break, and then. Go for five minutes at a time, and then switch hands or something, and then come back and 
That's um, amazing. Yeah, it's like it's like a workout. Like it is really a workout. No, I know. Out, I've seen totally. it. Like I've, I've experienced this stuff. But Jen, how do you feel about him, your husband? Yeah, doing this with other women. You I know, know, like you can mm-hmm. just probably separate it, and you're evolved mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But really, mm-hmm. like sometimes mm-hmm. you kind of like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, initially it's really funny because we actually it's funny like we actually talked about this with the client today too. And initially when we met and I heard what he did, I was like. Mm-hmm. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. I was like, this is bullshit. Like, I heal people without even touching them. Right. Like, this is dumb, you know? And um, we could, we, I could go deeper into me and Ben's story. And it's, right. it's a huge story in and of itself. I knew who he was before I met him. Right. Um, so it's – our life is about – it's about life purpose. And right. it goes so much deeper than an individual thing. Um, and as much as – you know, I can talk to you about it here and it's like, oh, it seems really sexual. And right. it is. It's not. It's right. about healing. It's right. about deep level soul healing. And that's what I came to this planet to do. So if, yeah, if that answers you know that. your question. And yeah. Women, yeah. Women, I'm, come I'm firm in, on it. women come in about, uh, you know, asking about orgasm and I want a deeper orgasm and I just, I just want pleasure. That's all I want is pleasure. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, then we find out about their deep, deep, deep beliefs and deep stuff going on that's keeping them yeah that's a lot and for men too there's a lot of stuff deep deep emotional trauma and stuff like you know what do you guys think about this whole sex surrogacy thing now it's a huge it's different than what you do than um than sexological body body work but sex because my mom keeps asking me in the sessions is coming out with helen hunt do you guys know about this movie coming out i heard about it and she's a sex surrogate which i think is like great like right. it's a similar sort of to what you do right yeah, definitely um but what do you think i mean what why would someone go see a sex surrogate for example so a sex surrogate is it's an amazing thing it's it's not it's not the same i get yours is like spiritual emotional like all right. these levels no, but so there's i just feel like that's very topical right now hmm. right so i i actually tried i actually separated what we do for from the sex because of because I was experiencing what I mean what I was doing before was kind of like sex surrogacy you know? right right and right so in order to separate the healing from the emotions that come along with the sex and all that I really had to um, I really had to separate the sex from the healing okay and so I had to um, and, and and in order to make it way more legal and make it more of a, a mainstream thing and um, and all that um, so I mean I don't, I don't know a whole lot about professional sex sur- surrogacy, but it's it's amazing. I mean it's all amazing. Right, Any it's all like good this... feeling. Like, oh, they're prostitutes or whatever. It's like no, it's like you're helping people like move yeah. through trauma, move through challenges. Actually, yeah, I mean that's what geisha and courtesans use. Right, to do. what's and the problem, people? And, and, even, and even for what we do, it's like you know it. You have your issues that you bring into your relationship. Everyone has them, and then you have your stories around your relationships. Right. And so, getting out of that story can be really, really healing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Good. so so that's why that's why we have uh, boyfriends and. And husbands that actually bring their wives and girlfriends. I was going to ask us. you about mm-hmm. that. Do they? Do they? Do you teach them the husbands what to do? Yeah, yeah. So they, they're all in the room. Uh, Tell no, me not, about that. Not yet. Oh, okay. So, so at first we open up the women. At first we open up the girlfriend, the wife, and help them have that full release because a lot of times, you know, if they've been married for several years, um, like Jen was saying, they have stories and they have like tension around the sex, and there's like you know it's like this critical thing that they have to fix, and so, you know, if if I just teach him and he goes in. You know, right. Like, oh, that's one more thing he's trying to do. And, you know, he's not an expert. He's, you know, what's he doing? This hurts. You know, I, I don't like this. And so so a lot of times when she comes to us, there's that understanding that she's here paying us to do this with her. Right. And she trusts us as the experts. And so we can say, yeah, so I understand that it's really intense and it's going to be really, really intense until you cross over into orgasm, and then it's going to be the most intense pleasure you've at, had in your entire life. And then they can replicate this at home with their exactly. partner. Exactly. So mm-hmm. once she understands that feeling, once she feels it, then we'll bring the, the boyfriend in. Uh, so, so a lot of times, so in order to have her get to that full release, she'll need to talk a little bit about right. the relationship. So and you're like a therapist too, both of you. Yeah, we're definitely counselors as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. we do coaching and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, and so... So, what yeah, about so, toys? Do you ever use any sex toys? Yeah, we use we use vibrators. Which kind? Um, we have the uh, what's the the one that looks like the um, what's the big one with a ball on the end of it? 
The Hitachi Magic Wand. Oh, it's amazing. So it's, we got the the, the wireless. Amazing. We got the wireless um, waterproof one. Of course, we had to get the waterproof one. They have a wireless waterproof Hitachi oh, yeah. Magic, and you're it's just telling Hitachi me this for the first time. It, it, it oh, costs like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, but it, that's good. good vibes. It's like a couple, you know, a couple vibrators down. What's the G Spot one? And called? then we just got a G Spot vibrator called the the Starlet uh, Toy Friend. Okay. And so I'm just I'm just uh, obsessed with vibrators, of course. Yeah, so, so I need the, the to know Starlet what you're using. It's wonderful. It's a great G Spot orgasm uh, or G Spot vibrator because a lot of them are just they're too flimsy and you can't put enough pressure right, on the G Spot. Right. So this one There's so many G Spot or uh, G Spot toys right now. Right. And right. this one's cheap. It's like thirty three dollars on Amazon. Starlight. Or okay, something. good. Go to Amazon um, or go to adamandeve.com, use coupon code Emily at checkout and get fifty percent off yeah, most it's, items. It's the pink one. They're the it's pink there's there, Starlight. There are a few of them. I want to go get it. I have Starlight. so many vibrators. I moved I moved Starlight. to LA and it was like literally my entire car was sex toys. My friend was packing me up. Not because <laughs> I was gonna use them all. You no experiment. but no, I should. I need to more. I mean, you'd think with all the sex toys I have that I would be masturbating like 24-7, but I don't. But it's like I have to bring them down just because so they eventually have to research and I give them away as gifts or I, you know, whatever. But it was after like my whole car were sex toys. Not after I <laughs> use them. They are not used but um, at all. But I was just going to ask you something else. So why um, – what was I going to say? There was something that was just – that you were just saying. Oh, the women – with so there you have you had women in there who have never had an orgasm before? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've had women who have like never even had a clitoral orgasm, clitoral anything. Yes. And they were like, so they must have fucking lost their mind. Yeah. So I mean even even like if somebody's never had a even a clitoral orgasm and they have just a quick one second, two second orgasm, like epiphanies come out of that. Right, for know? sure. It's a like, huge opening. They're like, okay, now I understand why people are addicted to this stuff. You know, it's like drugs in your brain. It is, and it is. it's legal is. and it's amazing. Is it because they never touch themselves or they never tried or they never had sex? Like, what have you seen? Um, lack of desire to touch themselves. Yeah. Um, and, and most of it's rooted, I mean, everyone everyone has different life experiences, but a lot of it boils down to either, like, family stuff when they were young, shame stuff, or just cultural stuff. Right, religion. Or, right, religion. Religion, you know. all that stuff. Like, you're going to, you know, right. go blind or get a woman pregnant. And if, and you, if whatever. there's not yeah. that, there's often just, my parents just didn't talk about it. Right. Period. No one talked about it. Thing. Like, exactly. nobody. Like, exactly. maybe I had sex ed in school for, like, a minute. Right. Yeah. And so that can create a disconnect as well. And so. that was one of the major things that I got out of the... Uh, um, the sex summit that, that we met you at. Oh, yeah. It's good that, that vibration was, like, sex summit. It was super, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was, uh, that was actually really funny, like the way I met you and I brought up the. I the, love it. Oh, you my Kegel. We should talk about that. Yeah, I had your Kegel app up and I was like, hey, I have my an app called Kegel Camp. I know that's so yeah. funny. So it's Kegel Camp is an app for the iPhone that you can do your Kegel exercises. It reminds you, do it. Why do you like it? You use you it. Because you can set an alarm to remind you every single day. So we actually tell all of our clients, like it's actually in the book that, that we give our clients. I saying, love it. Yeah. Saying, buy Buy the Sex with Emily Kegel app. Oh, I wish I know. And hopefully it'll be for droids soon, too, because a lot of people don't have iPhones. But Yeah, we need that. But why do you think they're in? Why are they important to your clients then, you think? Because Kegels are, I mean, we I mean, out, I know why, but I want to hear what you say. We work out every other muscle in our body. Why not our, our sexual exactly. muscles? Exactly. Like it's, it's a mate. You need it. Okay, so they did a, they actually did um, uh, research. The Mayo Clinic, um, they interviewed Every woman, every woman that came in for a while, I think it was like 6,000 women. I, my numbers could be totally off. But there's a direct correlation uh, to from orgasm to Kegel strength. So if a woman never had an orgasm, right. you know, she had no Kegel strength. Uh, women that could achieve clitoral orgasm, slightly stronger Kegels. Right. Women that could achieve uh, that, you know, inter, uh, orgasms during intercourse and Clitoral orgasms, right. super strong kegels. Super can, can strong kegels, a, five a minutes a day. You have yeah. to do it, mm-hmm. men and women. Mm-hmm. Yep. People mm-hmm. don't realize that men can do them. It's mm-hmm. like those pee-stopping muscles starting and stopping the flow of urine. It is. Um, it's Multiple so orgasms important. For Multiple men. orgasms. I know. Your, I need to. I need to start so doing it again longer. too. Do yeah. you use it too? The app. I need to do it. I know it's <laughs> so, okay if you don't. Because so like I, actually, I don't even use it. I, I don't have time. Love jade eggs. I don't know if you work with jade eggs no. at all. And rose quartz eggs. They're also oh amazing. oh like the balls that you stick inside you. Absolutely. Exactly. So that's actually what I wear. Um, and so I how just, long do you wear them for? Oh my god. Well, I actually long. I actually had to stop wearing them for a little bit because I was just wearing them all day and it just kind of like your body sort of like. 
scrunches right. naturally. And um, and then I do a lot of vinyasa yoga. Oh, so okay. it was like Arch- Arnold it, Schwarzenegger. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that works for me. But, I mean, we had, we advise both, and it's just Right. Amazing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. And I have yeah. another iPhone app out called Sex Drive. It's it's Emily's Sex Drive, and it helps couples improve their sex life. They fill it, they answer a few questions, and then they come in, and then they, um, they answer a few questions, and then every day you get a little... Um, Every day you get a little proposition, an envelope that you open on your iPhone, like a, and it says, this is what you should try today. Today you should give your partner a massage. And then every, it's called the sex drive because you can choose between five and 30 days for your sex drive and improve your sex life. Love because it. we're going to, yeah, yeah you got to add that, put that, that to your list. Awesome. Absolutely. So what I was saying about seeing you at the good, the good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me. The, uh, what we really got out of that was that people really don't have the information that they need. No. And I really got the mm-hmm. importance of why people like you and I and, and Jen and everyone else that was there are doing what we do because the world needs this. I know. Right do you now. hear these people emailing me too? Like mm-hmm. I, hundreds a day. They're like, I don't get understand orgasms. Yeah. I don't understand yeah, relationships. Yeah, that's all stuff that we're working with too on a daily basis. That's great. Know? So it so, really resonates. Oh, and so, so yeah. So one of the great things about that full release is that once we work, help them work through whatever it was that was blocking them to having that full release, First of all, that block is gone in their everyday life too. That block right, too. that's what it sounds like. So it's a combination. Yeah. They they okay. The block is gone. It's gone for their relationships, at their work. They can you know just abundance, you know uh, happiness. You know their blocks to happiness to being seen, heard, whatever. They give Love better it. speeches. So when they get to that sp- space of full release, their orgasms are better. They have more orgasms. Uh, we get we get I get I get after every session, I'll get texts the next day. Oh my god. I just had three G spot orgasms with my boyfriend and five clitoral orgasms. Oh my god! This is the best thing that's ever that is to me. like your selling point alone. Why doesn't everyone come see you? Can they do it over the phone? Uh, so we well we have how does a, you guys work? Tell me real quick because we've got a few seconds set. So okay, it's explosivesexualhealing.com. We'll also right. have it on our website sexwithemily.com. Yeah, you can just email but, me at ben at explosivesexualhealing.com. And we so we do free thirty minute strategy sessions nice. where you can just call us and talk to me about for half an hour about anything you want. I'll answer your questions and let you know, uh, you know, what the next steps are. Okay, that's cool. So people can call and kind of fill it out because they're like, oh, that sounds good. I want that, but I don't know. They could just call and talk to you. That's exactly. awesome. And Jen does have a lot of amazing Reiki services. She does. I, want, I always wanted to try it. Yeah. She does I know. Medication. I, know. Work. I should come. I know, oh, right? Awesome. Yeah. yeah she's I, I should totally do it before I um, – Go back to LA. I you know. I need one now. Like, yeah, can we do it now? I, I was, yeah. I was I'm actually, so tense. Were you seeing how tense I was? I was actually going to add, I almost did something on you before you started. This has been so great. Thank you so much. Explosive Sexual Healing, Ben and Jen. Thank you so much Thanks for being so here much. at Sex with Emily. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for listening. Was it good for you? Email me feedback at sexwithemily.com. Bring it up, bring you lots of pleasure if you like that kind of thing and stuff. Put it at the base of your penis and do your lady or your man if you're into that. They my favorite ladies and pleasure kids for couples. Are you part of a couple? I'm sure not. But if I was, I'd be pleasing my lady or my man with the product from the screaming up. Oh.